All right, so today I want to talk about this Samsung TV I've got here. It's a PN50C450. And um, I get around to the front of it here. And the problem that we're having with this one is um, it's got a thin vertical line in the display. Let me try to get up close, see if I can get focus on what's going on with that line. You can actually see it's, it's just uh, it's two horizontal lines in width. In addition to that, this one's kind of hard to see, but um, over here on the side, I've got another horizontal line indicative of a bad panel. So I'm going to bring up some test patterns real quick, and um, we'll talk about that. Okay, so with the TV off, to enter the service mode, you want to press the buttons mute 182 power. So I'm going to do that right now. Mute 182 power. I'm keeping the remote somewhat pointed over here to the side of the screen because that's where the remote sensor is. You can tell it's the panel because this comes on even before the video comes on. And uh, let's see, in this model, they kind of hide the test patterns in different models, so you kind of got to look for them. Uh, is it an option on this one? No. Test pattern, there we go. So here is the test pattern. You can still see the distortion over here. See the lines. Let's get some colored test patterns on this one. Let me move the camera up here a little bit closer. You can certainly see that uh, the red test pattern is uh, purple or violet. The green test pattern looks blue. And then interestingly enough, the blue test pattern, it's missing blue right there. All throughout the test patterns, this line we've got over here on this side remains virtually the same. It never changes. So um, we're going to talk about this. The only cure on this model for two problems like that is either to live with it or to replace the plasma panel. So on this model, we're going to replace the plasma panel. All right, so the first thing I've done is I've unpacked the new plasma panel, and I've got it just sitting here. And this is what comes with the new panel. As you can see, it comes with a new Y sustain board over here, as well as new Y buffers. It as well comes with a new Z sustain board over here. Or actually on the Samsungs, they call it the, the Y main, and this one's an X main. On an LG, that would be the Z sustain board. And so I've got my other set sitting right here. And as you can see, it still has the Y sustain. It still has the power supply. Um, we need to remove the main board here, as well as taking off the speakers, the stand mount. And um, at that point, we can go ahead and swap plasma panels. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the power supply and the main board loose and the LVDS cable right now. And um, then I'll show you how we swap the panels. Okay, so I've got the screws out of the main board and out of the power supply. So we need to just disconnect the connector here that goes to the keypad, the connector that goes to the speakers. They have it just taped down. So I just take that tape and move it out of the way. Just connect the LVDS cable. It's taped down as well. You can kind of just fold the two boards together. Remove the connector to the control board. Remove the power supply connector that goes to the Y main. And now the main and the power supply can be just taken out and set completely aside. The speakers aren't held in other than these little rubber grommets. There's a single piece of tape on this stand that you have to move out of the way. Get the speakers completely loose out of here. Set those aside as well. You can disconnect the tape to the keypad. And then just simply remove the screws from the stand as well as from the bottom of the TV here. So I'll do that right now. All right, next you want to look around the outside of the plasma panel. And you can see it has 
There's the screw right here. There's another screw across the top on the opposite side right there. And there's a screw in each lower corner. This corner has one. This corner has one. So go ahead and take out all four of those screws. And I like to go ahead and I like to leave these four wall mounts on. And I'll show you why in just a second. So there's the reason I like to leave those brackets on the old panel so I can put, uh, I have a couple wall mount brackets I like to stick on there. And that allows me to come over here and just lift the plasma panel completely out of the TV. And then I'm going to transfer the wall mount bracket onto the new panel and we'll place it in the TV. Okay, so now I've got the new plasma panel with the brackets on it. It's ready to go. So I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to set it back into the frame. Be very careful as you line up the the little tabs on the side that they all go into their respective slots and we'll put the screws back in it we'll go ahead and put the boards back on it and um, one thing you want to make sure of after you've replaced the plasma panel is that you come over here and you look at this little sticker right here and it talks about voltage setup adjustments the VA and the VS uh, you can find those on the power supply board itself. Uh, VE is normally over here on the X main board. There's an adjustment for that. And um, just make sure that you adjust these voltages to the voltages on the you know power supply so they correspond with the label on the screen. So let me get the screws back in here. We'll stand it up and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here's our final result with our uh, test pattern on the screen. Everything looks great. There's no missing lines or anything now. And um, just thought I'd give you some information. If you need to look up some parts, need to find out where to get parts for Samsung TVs, um, good place to go is samsungparts.com. I've got it listed right here. So um, basically you just punch in your model number into that first blank right there. Come down here and switch this over to replacement parts. There's a drop down list. Figure out what part that you're gonna need and um, click the go button and then here's your results over here. There's a couple plasma panels available. They're on back order right now for this particular model but that's one of the ones that we used on here. So just for reference if you need to find parts for Samsung uh, there's a good location, samsungparts.com. All right, we've got another good working TV. Thanks for watching.